What's a great way to fish standing timber this time of the year when the water is still really, really cold? Good morning, guys and girls. March 6th, March 6th. Hey, before we get started on the March 6th scripture this morning, I want to tell you, if you're not subscribed to the Jimmy Houston's Catch of the Day channel, Catch of the Day channel on YouTube, be sure and go in there and hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that little bell. It'll ding every time we, uh, we upload a video. We upload videos uh, every morning, every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Every day, every single day, five o'clock in the morning central time, and uh, you'll not miss a single video. This channel is probably the most important channel in all of YouTube because it will change your life. It will absolutely change your life. Hi, guys. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Some wild deer just come up here to listen to this morning's catch of the day. That's how important it is. Even the wild animals come up. And some of y'all out there are wild animals. I know that. Okay. All right, subscribe to Catch of the Day. It doesn't cost anything. Those of you that are over there watching on Facebook, you can subscribe to this channel, and you will be amazed at, uh, at how great it really is. Proverbs 17.6. I love Proverbs. Most everybody loves Proverbs. If you just take the book of Proverbs, believe everything that's in there, live by them, you're going to be an amazing person. An amazing, amazing person. Old people. <laughs> Old people are proud of their grandchildren. And all the people said, Amen. Old people are proud of their grandchildren. And children are proud of their parents. Are your kids proud of you? They really should be. If your kids are not proud of you, up your game a little bit. Because your kids ought to be just so proud of their mom and dad. And I know you're proud of your grandkids, no matter how ordinary they are. <laughs> I'm proud of mine, no matter how many fishy lures they lose. I'm still proud of them. Probably the best way to get your kids and grandkids into fishing is to take them perch or bluegill fishing. Here in Oklahoma, well, that's kind of, we call them perch. They, around the country, they're pretty much called bluegill. Because up in the north, you have a yellow perch, which is an extremely good eating fish. Of course, bluegill are also. And they call those perch, and they call them bluegills. A lot of them call them sunnies up in that part of the country. Perch or bluegill fishing, whatever you call them. You can catch bluegill. Here's the cool thing. Just about anywhere you can find water. Teach them how to tie on a hook, to pinch on a split shot, and to attach a bobber. Teach them how to do all of that correctly. Learning to cast, concentrating on that bobber, setting the hook, and handling the fish are just a few of the important lessons that they learn. But there are so many more important lessons than they, that they learn out there when you're taking your kids fishing. They will begin to learn a completely different and better set of moral values that they can learn anywhere. You know, Trace Atkins wrote a song uh, about taking his little girl fishing, and uh, the, uh, the title of the song was, She Thinks We're Just Fishing. <laughs> and he was just watching all the things she was doing, and uh, the fishing was not the important part of it at all. God created the family, and then he created fishing as a means of holding families together. You hear what I'm saying right there? God created fishing, and God created fishing, and he created it as a means of holding families together. Uh, we've got uh, a, a picture, a plaque or two that somebody's made for us that said, the family that fishes together stays together, and that's exactly right. Plan some time in your schedule in the next couple, two or three weeks to take your kids or grandkids perch fishing or bluegill fishing. Resist all the other more sought after species. Your family, your family is well worth the trip. I've got a family of deer out here right now. You want to look right over here? This is, uh, this is Whitey right there. That's Whitey. You see he has no horns? That's Whitey. And he's going to grow some pretty big ones, I really believe, because he had some pretty big ones in his first set. But he's a nice, big, beautiful deer. His horns are going to start growing, or antlers, as I, I know you're supposed to say, come out, and, uh, and he's going to have some really nice ones. It doesn't look like much is going to happen, but I promise you they will. I promise you they will. Okay, here's our tip for today. Heavy spoons, that's the answer to my tease question. Heavy spoons jig vertically around standing timber will produce cold water bass. 
there's <coughs> several ways you can fish those spoons, but basically you want to just get right beside a tree, punch your button, and let her all get all the way down. Now, if you've got a Garmin fish finder with a live scope, you can look at those trees and see if there's fish there. If there, you see a fish in there and he's suspended, you might want to throw at it with an Alabama rig or a spinner bait or a swim bait or something like that. We're catching a lot of fish right now using Lucky Strike swim baits on a Shane Alabama rig. I caught one just a couple two or three days ago. It was a giant. But uh, but you can get around those trees if you can't you know, look if you don't see the fish down there. A lot of times they're attached to the bottom. Drop that spoon all the way down to the bottom, pop it up, let it fall. Pop it up, let it fall. Wind it up a little bit, pop it up, let it fall. Pop it up, let it fall. It's a great way to catch bass when the water's cold like it is now. But we are at the time of the year in the south where a lot of these pretty days we're going to get warmer and warmer and warmer water. And if you've got a lake that's got grass in it, your bass are going to move shallow quicker in a grassy lake than it will a lake that doesn't have any grass in it. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Subscribe to the Catch of the Day channel. And remember, I sure do love you.